If you're serious about thinking clearly and organizing complex ideas, choosing the right note-taking app is critical. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Heptabase and Obsidian, two powerful tools with very different approaches to help you decide which one fits your brain better in 2025. And let's start with ease of use. Heptabase has a visual workspace that feels like a whiteboard for your mind. You can drag notes around, group ideas into cards, and literally see your thinking evolve. Users on Captera and G2 love how intuitive it feels for visual learners, though some say it can get chaotic if not managed well. Obsidian takes a more traditional approach, clean markdown based notes that link together using backlinks and graph view. It's faster and more text focused. Reviews highlight that while there is a learning curve, once you get it, it becomes incredibly fluid and distraction free. Next, features and customizations. Heptabase is built around visual organization. Think mind maps, spatial thinking, and deep idea structuring. It's great for researchers and creatives, but Trustpilot users mention it's not ideal for managing tons of quick notes or task lists. Obsidian shines with customization. You get plugins, themes, daily notes, and full control over your setup. Captera users say it's like building your own personal knowledge lab, but it's more of a solo tool, no real-time collaboration. Now let's talk pricing. Heptabase runs on a subscription model. So it's for $12 per month or $11.99 per month, or if you pay yearly, it's gonna be $107, almost $108 per year. Some say it's pricey, but worth it for the visual interface. Obsidian is free for personal use, and even commercial licenses are a one-time fee. Add-ons like Sync and Publish are extra, but optional. Budget-wise, Obsidian wins for solo users. Heptabase doesn't have many third-party integrations yet. It's self-contained by design. Obsidian, while not natively integrated, supports community plugins to connect with tools like Readwise and GitHub. More flexibility, but more setup too. So in the end, which one is better? If you are a visual thinker who loves mapping out concepts, Heptabase is your tool. If you prefer speed, flexibility, and deep text-based note-taking, Obsidian is hard to beat. Let me know which one fits your workflow in the comments, Heptabase or Obsidian. And if this helped you choose, give it a like and subscribe for more honest tech comparisons. See you all in the next one.